All right, we are back, and I'm sad. I'm very sorry to tell you, stream, that we will be unable to bring you the seventh round of Master Swiss since we will be bringing you the finals of the senior division. Yeah, for this as, region now. as you saw earlier, the winner of the semi-finals, Zachary, will be against um, winner of the other semi-finals, uh, Tek Ming. So it will be a match between Tek Ming and uh, Zachary, who will, will be playing for a total of 120 championship points for the winner. Well, that's... Oh, it's 150, 150. It's 150, actually, my mistake. Yeah, that's quite a lot of CP. Um, I believe we'll be going into battle pretty soon. Uh, we have... We have... Re uh, if we recall Zachary's team, he did use the Xerneas to great effect. Uh, will he be able to do the same this round? Well, we will be able to make a more informed decision once we see what Ting Ming has up his sleeve. And just to let the viewers know, once this Seniors final is done, we will be, perhaps with a brief delay, we will be moving straight on to the Masters Top 8, Top Cut. Yeah, for our there should not be any break in between, uh, so it will be back to back. Yep. So, yes, viewers, you will get your Master Division player soon enough. We are as eager as you are to watch our contemporary play, but until then, we will enjoy what our senior brethren yes. have to offer. So, I believe we have both of we have both players' teams up, so we might, we'll bring it up on the screen shortly. Alright, on the left, we see uh, Tick Ming's team with Rayquaza, Kyogre, Kangaskhan, Cresselia, Ferroton, and Whimsicott. And Zachary's team, as we've seen before, it is the Kangaskhan, Clefairy, Talonflame, Salamence, Xerneas, and Groudon. Both Salamence and Kangaskhan being Mega Evolutions on Zachary's side. Yeah, um, Tick Ming's team pretty interesting with the Rayquaza, the Rayogre core. The Rayogre core giving him both the Tailwind option with Whimsicott, and also the fast option in general with Rayquaza's yeah, speed. He does have the Cresselia if he wants to set up. And Cresselia he, with yeah. Ferroton and maybe even the Kangaskhan for the slow mode if he needs it. Yeah, but I don't think he'll want to bring the Ferroton here since Zachary packs the Groudon and the Talonflame. But Ferroton might be his best answer against the Xerneas. Hmm, tr quite true. Well, he... If he can control the weather, he has nothing... He has, Ferroton really has nothing to worry about beyond perhaps the Kangaskhan's low kick. And well, flying, flying attacks from Salamence who are still going to hurt. Yeah, and it'll be interesting to see if uh, Ting Ming decides to bring uh, Whimsicott um, for its control, fac uh, control factor. Uh, we saw in the previous we should games... Be, we should see a more conventional <laughs> Whimsicott this Yeah, not, not a Grass Whistle since I don't... Uh, okay, Ferroton can learn Gravity, but so I highly doubt that... Yeah, yeah, I highly doubt either one of them will pack uh, the Gravity. Since there's no Groudon on Ting Ming's side of the field to abuse the Gravity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Rayquaza or Kyo uh, Rayquaza being the Mega option for Ting Ming is also pretty interesting since uh, it, it means that uh, Ting Ming, if he wants to bring the Mega Rayquaza, he is forced to make some hard decisions on where his Mega or where his Kangaskhan is going to stand in his team. It will just be a normal Kangaskhan if he decides to Mega Evolve the Rayquaza. I believe Ting Ming will want to go for like Caster already. The trade room mode is really the option he is looking at right now since mm -hmm. he has the Ferroton Hu Chen. Pretty much good to do a pretty decent job. And well, a lot of it hinges also on what kind of character Ting Ming is running. If it is the quiet, slow character, then of course Ting Ming is going to want Trade Room to go up. Mm -hmm. Though if it is fast variant, then well, Cressetta might be there be just to control the weather and let him get a fast sweep. And, off. and you did mention that uh, the Ferroton will be able to take out the Xerneas, but I believe that is, uh, if you mentioned it was after it gets a plus two speed yes. boost. So I guess Xerneas could just go for attacks and not boost. But without the boost, it's very vulnerable to things like Kyogre. Mm. And even the Kangaskhan, which they cannot KO without the Geomancy boost. Well, I, I believe a lot of uh, control will come from Clefairy on Zachary's side. So we did see the Frank Guard do a lot of work for him in the semi-finals. So and, uh, are we going to see a taunt from Ting Ming's Whimsicott just as we saw from Kester's Whimsicott? And will the Clefairy be able to reflect it back with a magic code? Mm, that is a very interesting question, but yeah, I mean, Ting Ming surely would have seen it on the spot, perhaps been told about it or seen it for himself, that the Clefairy carries the magic yeah, code. Yeah, and Zachary does not have a very good um, percentage a success with that magic code. Yes, uh, he has to bounce anything off yeah. in the top card at least. And well, if um, Tick Ming decides to go for the Trick Room Factor, uh, Zachary might want to consider bringing the Talon Flame since uh, the priority would be quite useful. Especially and Brave Bird, can... Brave Bird is, an, is entirely unresisted by Tick Ming's team. Oh, that's so he can, throw it around, he can throw it around fairly recklessly. Bravely, if you put it that way. <laughs> um, yeah, but I doubt he, as in, only in dire situations where he want to throw it at the Feral Thorn. Which uh, he would rather he would rather hit with a fire attack. Yeah, the Cairo could take that choice out of his hands. Yeah, so I, I guess Zachary's game plan could be trying to chip down Tick Ming's team, um, disregard the fact that Tick Ming will set up Trick Room and just send in Talonflame to clean up at the end. 
Chip is going to be no problem with Zachary because Zachary carries a lot of spread attackers. Hyper Voice from the Salamence, Dazzling Gleam from the Xerneas, and Precipice Blades from his Garden. Well, yeah, as mentioned, Crofair is going to do a lot of work since Pick Ming's um, the side does not have yeah. a lot of spread. The question is whether Zachary or not, whether Zachary can put the correct attacker on the field at, at the right time to pair with his Crofair. Alright then, we are going into the first round. Zachary will open with the Kofari Kangaskan, a lead which didn't do that well against Caster. Hmm. But he's but so he's about to try and match up here. Yeah. As Kyogre Crystallia hits the field. Well I well I think Ting Meng right off the bat is threatening to set up the trick rule. But Kangaskan is there to deny it. So But if Kangaskan goes for the pick out on the Cresselia, that's he's, a free attack. It's a free attack for Kyogre. Well, it should be noted, at least from our point of view, we can see that the Kyogre is packing very little HP investment. And it's likely a fast offensive variant. Ah, so the trick room my option might not be there for Ting Ming. In fact, uh, Helping Hand, Water Sport, right off the bat, could demolish Zachary's field. Yeah. If you guys go for the option, yeah, and Kagaskan goes for the pick out on Cresselia, hoping to deny a trick room. Yeah, since the Helping Hand does go uh, before, before the, the fake out. out. But well, Zachary does exert the fake out, so the, the onus is on him uh, to pick make the right target. Yeah. Or even just going for the attack, though, at the same time, Kagaskan and Kyogre do tie in base speeds. As, well, Kyogre not going for any fancy plays, just goes for the Protect. Are we going to see a Protect Trick Room turn 1? Which would, actually wouldn't make much sense, but it's Kofari, Magic, Magic Coat. Coat's not sure what he's hoping to bounce. Perhaps he knows that the Cresselia carries Thunder Wave? Um, oh, actually, oh, Cresselia, he goes swap. for the Skill Swap to steal Frank Guard. Magic Coat, not really. Doesn't bounce. Doesn't does bounce. It? The, yeah, the Skill Swap, not, uh, not so much. Not a uh, status move per se. And now Zachary in a lot of trouble. I mean, previously maybe he could have hoped to survive the water spout with the Frank Guard active. I'm actually surprised he went for the skill song the fairy. <laughs> because most characters want to steal the parental bond from the Kangas Khan. Yeah. But I suppose giving the Kangas Khan added bulk is about just about as efficient. Yeah, and I mean the Kofari does not have a lot of offensive presence. Uh, Rather comes in to change the weather. Oh, that, that could be big. Take Ming going for a water attack, which he's likely to do, of course. But if Though Chrysella can still stop the Kyogre yeah, and regain uh, weather control. Uh, but the Kyogre does go before the Cresselia, so it could still neuter the water attack if uh, Ting Ming chose a water attack this turn. Are we going to see Icy Wind coming up from the Kofari this turn? Pretty much the only thing you can do this turn. Mm -hmm. Oh, we see Origin, Origin Pulse. does go into uh. the sun as Skill Swap will go one a bit too late as the weather goes back to rain, but the attack has already been evaporated as Kofari will likely get uh, Icy Wind away to lower yep, Kyogre's Icy Wind speed. does come out. So Groudon does, although does not have the weather, his own weather up, does have the speed advantage. Not too sure about that. Given that we know that Tegmin runs a fast Kyogre, and I believe we've seen that Zachary's Groudon is pretty slow. Even with the minus one speed, it I'm not entirely still, sure. Yeah, it could still outspeed the Groudon, that's possible, yeah. Which means the Groudon is still in a very uncomfortable position since he's gonna eat the orange impulse. But well, it was and no amount of Frankard, even though Frankard is gone right now, is it gonna save it? Well, I guess it was pretty good on Ting Ming's uh, part to call the Groudon switch in, although that it was a shame that the attack evaporated before it could connect. It was a pretty safe play, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> Since we got, if he didn't switch, then Origin Pulse was going to demolish the And Kangas we do Khan. see a Precipitate Blades come out. Precipitate Blades will land on the no longer levitating Cresselia, doing a fair amount of damage. Oh, yeah. As Cresselia reveals its own Icy Wind, which will lower the speed of the Kofari, not what he wanted to lower the speed yeah, of. Yeah, Gordon avoids the attack there, a bit unfortunate. Not what uh, Ting Ming wanted. Kofari will Icy Wind once again. To bring Cressida's speed even lower. Well, I believe, yeah. Ting Ming should just go for the attack here. Ting Ming really, uh, from a, he has the parental bond on on deck. I thought he has the friend guard on deck, and he ha and he really shouldn't be afraid of Cressida's blades doing enough damage. Wait, to wait, KO but the friend guard is on Kyogre, right? So, oh, so that means the, the boost is only on Cressida's bot. Yeah. No, that's as Groudon goes for the Protect, and we're going to see another Icy Wing come out of Clefairy, assuming it survives this turn. As well, Origin Pulse comes out, is it going to connect on the Clefairy? It connects yes, it on does. the Clefairy, with the Helping Hand boost, with the boost from Rain. Should be enough to take it out. Yeah. With Evil Light? Not, well, <laughs> even with Evil Light, Clefairy's perhaps EV on the defensive, the physical yeah, defensive so side. Since Frank is on the Kyogre, only Cresselia's bulk is being boosted here. <laughs> even with that bulk, that Precipice Blade did a lot of damage. In indeed. <laughs> Zachary having made some hard decisions here. And Xerneas goes for the field. Xerneas. A pretty a decent pick, definitely. Given that Kyogre's at minus one speed. And now Xerneas can Geomancy without fear of taking any any anything anything at all. Yeah, and we do see But uh, we do see that Kyogre's hoping to get some damage off on Xerneas before he goes down. As Xerneas, Xerneas goes for the Geomancy. He will get his boost and will be able to comfortably eat the Origin Pulse 
after the plus two special defense. We have to remember that uh, Ting Ming does pack Ferrothorn at the back, so if he chose to bring that in this match, he, he would have a, a great advantage against the Xerneas here. Are we going to see the are we going to see Groudon move before the Xerneas? Oh, uh, the Kyogre? Yeah, Groudon does move before the Kyogre. So Preston Blaze does come out. It should not KO even the not so, the very the somewhat un, uh, critical hit on the Kyogre. Yeah, and Kyogre takes this very comfortably still. <coughs> and Origin Pulse hits both. Oh, he brings, brings down the 4 times speed Groudon and a amount, decent amount of damage to the Xerneas considering that's all he could do. Yeah, and that was, remember that was helping hand boosted in the rain as well. Although you could argue that it was spread. He really had no other option in that situation. Well, um, now Zachary brings in his Kangaskhan. These are his last two Pokemon. And Zachary may be 4-2 down, but Xerneas is putting a lot of pressure on the field right now. Ping Ming really needs a Ferraton at the back to have any hope of pulling this back. Mm -hmm. Right now, both of these Pokemon will go down to a Dazzling Gleam. Oh, we see Fake Out coming out, um, Fakes out the Cresselia. Dazzling Game will finish off both of these Pokemon. Yep. Uh, Kyogre not having a chance to fire off any and attacks here. Ming carrying either the Rayquaza or the Kangaskhan and hope perhaps the Ferraton. Though if the Whimsicott is at the back, the Tailwind could help him pull the game back. Not, not only that, he could encore the Kangaskhan Fake Out and oh, lock the true. game down from there. So, some options available for Tank Ming, assuming he does have those options at the back. We're about to see. He the does Rayquaza. bring the Rayquaza, not what, not the ideal Mega in this scenario right now. If he, but it is with the Ferrothorn. I Ferrothorn, yes, yes, we have seen before. <laughs> well, um, now it's pretty dead even actually. Uh, Assuming, of course, that the Kangaskhan does not carry Fire Punch. Yeah, well, we've seen strange moves on some. Well, of the at this point, so do, you, do you think a Rayquaza is extremely will really take out Zonias at this range? Um, I believe even the Life Orb boost is probably not going to be enough. It's not at full. And I believe it's going to protect anyway. Uh, the Zonias? Yes. Right. Oh, Do Rayquaza, Rayquaza protect. Uh, well, getting the speed advantage over the Kangaskhan at 8. Yeah, but that means the Zonias didn't protect. The Zonias went for the Dazzling Gleam. And Dazzling Gleam plus low kick into the Ferrothorn, is it going to be enough? Might be. He just go for the low, low kick, kick, calling the protect on the Rayquaza. Ferrothorn go down. It's going to be close, I think. Ferrothorn and Ferrothorn lives. lives but barely, I believe barely. it's going for a Gyro Ball into the <laughs> Xenia slot. Yeah, Xenia should go down this turn. Gyro Ball comes off into the Xenia slot and will bring it down. Overkill, really, considering <laughs> how much damage Gyro Ball is. 150 base coming off Ferrothorn's low speed. Well, now, uh, oh, leftovers. I think Zachary might want to take note of that, considering this is the first match. Uh, Alright, so Tick Ming does have a commanding lead here. Rekosa really. Assuming the Kangaskhan, at this point, Dragon Ascent, if it is Life Orb boosted, will bring down the Kangaskhan. Yeah, at this point, I think Zachary just has to look out for information. Uh, and really, right now, this move, what he needs to do is take note of what item the Rayquaza is holding. Yeah, if there is any recoil or not. And Kangaskhan goes down. And we do not see the Life Orb recoil. So information for Zachary to carry yeah, into the next game. We did see the Protect, so... Um, Either the Sash or the Lumberry. Could be... Yeah, or oh, it could be Skyplate, who knows? Skyplate. <laughs> well, we are in... <laughs> not, not, not to deride our, our uh, fellow players and seniors, but they are, they are a bit more liberal in their choice of team, team building. Alright then, so Zachary, what can he do to recover? I believe he, Trick Room has to go up. But again, does he even have a Trick Room? Because we saw Kerry Taisi win. No, no, I'm talking about Zachary. Oh, I Zach. believe Zachary's um, best play would perhaps lead with the Xerneas. And right off the bat, uh, try to set up the So actually, see, we, don't, we don't really see opposing speed controls that work here. Ah, we players, do. Icy win. Icy win for both players carrying Icy win. But not so much uh, Trick Room versus Tailwind kind of matchup here. In that case, I believe Zachary has an advantage. I mean, the Talon Flame setting up Tailwind will do wonders for him. Whether or not he picked, or picked up on that third remains to be seen. Because Talon Flame, well, like again, Talon Flame could just Tailwind and let itself die regardless of what's on the field. Mm -hmm. And that could be enough momentum for Zachary to pull it back. Yeah, and I, I feel Zachary should lead the Xerneas to start and get off the boost. Considering that uh, Ting Ming doesn't want to reveal his own Ferrothorn into a possible ground on right off the bat. Ferrothorn lead is a, always a very dangerous thing to bring out, considering how valuable it is in certain matchups. Well, since Ting Ming is 1 up now, he could try something to risky. The with the Ferrothorn. Yeah, so um, we could see different uh, leads here. Maybe even the Whimsicott. Considering that he said he can control, depending on what moves he has. Presumably, this one does carry the Uncle. <laughs> yeah. Um, we, we did, see, did we see the man's one from Zachary just now? No, it was the Kangaskhan. Ah, alright, so... Kangaskhan was a better option, I think. Mm. And able to locate the Ferrothorn. Mm, yeah, true, true. And nearly... 
almost taking the game for Zachary there. Uh, would you say that was a damage roll? I, I would think so, considering how much damage the first hit did. I think it was definitely a damage roll. I myself was thinking that it was going to KO. Uh, Alright, then Luck pulls in for Tick Ming's side and we'll so, see like if he does so again. Does, does uh, Zachary really need to adjust that much, considering it really came down to that one damage roll. Hmm. Uh, maybe he wants to press the advantage and set up Xerneas early, but no, he decides to Yes, Titan Flame does come out with the Groudon, putting on a lot of offensive pressure on oh, we see a Tech side of the field. A Rayquaza Kyogre, that's a, so, that's a new lead, definitely. So we are not going to get any weather on the field unless Rayquaza chooses to Mega Evolve. Oh, but Groudon does Mega Evolve. Oh, uh, Mega Evolve, my mistake. Primal Kyogre, Reverse. Kyogre Primal Reverses first. So the weather... Supposedly, the weather in place will be Desolate Land. Though airlock from Rayquaza basically stops the weather from having any effect. Mm -hmm. well, and if Rayquaza chooses to Mega Evolve, then it will control the weather. Yeah, this become point, Delta Zachary, what, what do you think you go for? A, pro a Protect Tailwind here? Considering he has the Sun up. But again, but... Um, yeah, he knows that the Kyogre is probably faster than him. And with Rayquaza locking the weather, or even changing the weather to, that, to Delta Stream, the Groudon will just go down to Origin Pulse. So, but even the but thing is, I think Groudon wants to switch out here, not so much to protect, but he does stay in. So, no Mega Evolution from Rayquaza, wanting to retain the weather. Oh, we see a Brave Bird actually coming, no Tailwind. Let's go straight for the attack onto Ting Ming. So, Zachary might just be gunning for the Kyogre right off, right off the start. That's a lot hit. of damage. That's a lot Kyogre. of damage to the Kyogre, but yeah. Kyogre moves now and Origin Pulses. Origin oh. Pulse goes off, connects with both Pokemon. And Tick Ming takes a very early 4-2 lead. Ouch. That is a very decisive first turn. Zachary, I think perhaps gambling on uh, Tick Ming. Miss? Origin Pulse Miss or predicting that Tick Ming wouldn't target the Groudon. Uh, expecting it to protect and tail in. Or maybe he's expecting Tick Ming to go for Water Spout, then maybe Groudon would be able to survive? That's true. Well, either way, he is not down and out as he brings in Cernius here, which could completely sweep uh, Tick Ming's team, barring the Ferraton at the back. Uh, we did see earlier, I, I think the damage roll will come into play here since we do see the Xerneas and the Kangasan. Kangasan now... The thing about now is that Kangasan tractors the KO on Kyogre with Fake Out. But the one you really want to Fake Out is the Rayquaza. Yeah, since... Uh, but again, that Xerneas might not even need to boost here. A Fake Out plus Dazzling Gleam is going to finish off both of Zachary's Pokémon. But he does uh, want... Both of Tick Ming's Pokémon. But does he want the boost for what Tick Ming has at the back? That is... That is something to consider as well. Especially since uh, we saw that um, damage roll with the Ferrothorn, that was with a plus two. Exactly, so does he even want the boost? I think he has to. Uh, oh, he... But with the boost, he takes more damage from Gyro Ball. Ah, true. That, that is also a factor. He goes for the fake out. I think he is going for the Dazzling Gleam. And... Ricardo does flinch and... and oh. Origin Pulse goes for the Xerneas. Oh, a lot of damage coming out though. Without the rain, not going to do that much damage. Yeah, com pretty comfortable. He, he does go for the Geomancy. Geomancy. Yeah, so definitely Zachary will be able to pick up two KOs the next turn. But the Rayquaza does have access to extreme speed next turn. Oh uh, yeah, it could pull off um, yeah, it could pull off some damage onto the Xerneas. It could even it potentially KO either the Xerneas or Kangaskhan depending on... Yeah, I mean a crit, it a crit could it happen. Doesn't, oh, it, does, it doesn't have an item boost, so it's not going to be as, as, as powerful as it, as it would be with a Life Orb. So it's probably not going to KO either, but... Free damage on Xerneas. Uh, what's worse? The, the top right now should be Kangaskhan actually. Since Ferriton locks down the Xerneas. Yeah. And I mean, a crit could happen here. Yep, and Rekata yeah, goes for the extreme speed. speed. Into the Kangaskhan, I suspect. Yep, going into the Kangaskhan. Well, doesn't get a crit. But Sucker Punch, Punch fails, fails on the Rayquaza. As Dazzling Gleam will put Take Wing down to his final two Pokemon. Go if it is the Kangaskhan and. Oh, what's worse? He doesn't want to bring Kangaskhan since he already mega his Rayquaza. Uh -huh. But it's probably the Ferrothorn, and I mean, the Kangaskhan wouldn't be a bad idea here since uh, Fake Out would be pretty useful here. But, well, you always, you always don't really want to bring the... Not oh, the other thing being that I believe this game is sealed actually. Because Kangaskhan, I don't think Kangaskhan can take more, more than one hit of Iron Buffs. I, I think it can actually, but it will go down to Recoil. I actually think it will, it will go down to the first Iron Buffs. And now Whimsicott is in play. If he does have the Encore, it can... Encore into Sucker Punch. Yeah. That would definitely... Definitely help. Or he could... Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty much the obvious play here. Encore into Sucker Punch. Which, which basically gives Zachary no way of taking down the Ferraton. Barring Sucker Punch crit and Moonblast crit. Yeah. A double crit. Definitely not... 
in favor for Zachary here, and it's definitely... Oh, but he actually goes for the swagger <laughs> onto the Zanias. <laughs> okay, that's, that's one way to play it, I guess. Well, is Zanias going to Sucker Punch? He goes for Sucker Punch anyway. Into Zanias is confused Zanias and he in the confusion. confusion. That should seal the game for Tick Ming. Gyro Ball goes, goes gyro off. Ball. He will finish out the Zanias. More than overkill. <laughs> And, well, a series of questionable plays costing Zachary there. Uh, a sucker punch onto the whimsy court of all things? Um, yeah, I mean, he could have gone for the low kick, um, hoping maybe the swagger wouldn't have killed his own. And we do see Tailwind come out. Uh, Ting Ming should be able to take this match and be the winner for the seniors. Oh, a crit here? A crit here? <laughs> no. Oh, he, actually, he actually is able to take more than one hit of Yeah, but he's still going to die to recoil and... Yep. Well, Whimsy Court still on the field. Take Ming really just rubbing it in because by, by going for Tailwind, all he does is actually weaken his own Gyro Ball. <laughs> <laughs> well, then, then, a very uh, co a commanding, a really commanding 2 victory for Take Ming there. Yeah. Uh, and, so, and sometimes you just, just go for the attack, you know? That's Origin Pulse. Definitely did work there. The Xerneas being bulky on the side of the field, hurting him there, not able to move before the Kyogre. Forcing him really to go for the Geomancy. If he was faster, he would have just gone for, for the, for the Dazzling Beam to get the double KO. But yeah. he was forced into making the Geomancy because he was slower than Kyogre anyway. And I mean, even even if you're... I mean, you, you ideally you want to Geomancy before taking the Origin Pulse because that means you take less damage as well. By the situation, he didn't really want to Geomancy because of the threat of the Gyro Ball. Mm. But he was forced into it because Kyogre was faster anyway. Well, um, uh, rather was... a rather comfortable team matchup for Zachary. So I'm thinking but... really playing to his outs, playing to them much better, pressing the momentum from turn one really. Mm. Well, then that I believe concludes the senior seniors. division. Yeah. So congratulations to Tam Tik Ming for being the seniors champion for our Singapore Regionals, and I believe we will be moving into an interview with him, our seniors champion for Singapore Regionals 2016. Yeah, stay tuned. And we are back with our senior champion for regionals, uh, Ta Tang Tik Ming, I believe. Yeah, how does it feel to uh, win regionals? Uh, very <laughs> happy. Very happy. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, let's talk about maybe the first match. Um, when you saw Zachary's name, what were some of the things that went through your mind? Like um, his Groudon's, uh, you know, you can, his Groudon has the desolate started. You know. So you thought you should lock down the weather? Yeah. To make it into my favor. Oh, were you ever worried about the Xerneas? Uh, no, because I have the Ferrothorn in back. Yeah, so you felt that you had to prioritize uh, getting rid of the Groudon so that you could bring in your Ferrothorn safely. Yeah. Is it? yeah and then the uh, second match was very commanding, very aggressive. Uh, I mean, right off the bat, you went for attacks on uh, Zachary's Mons. Um, why? Uh, I didn't expect him to really like, lead with the Talon Flame and the Groudon. Oh, what were you expecting him to lead with? Um, maybe Xerneas can just gun something. Okay, and you brought and the Rayquaza to threaten the Xerneas? No, like, I ex then later, I expected him to switch to Groudon, so like, if Rayquaza, I would still be able to keep the uh, Yeah, since you you didn't Mega Evolve, uh, you still locked up, airlock, yeah, will still yeah. be in play. Oh, okay. Well, since, although you didn't really expect his lead, that still worked out for you in the end. Yeah. Um, so, um, what... Will you be taking part in more uh, tournaments? Uh, yeah. Or what do you think about this uh, meta game so far? Uh, a lot of. A lot of? Like, weather wars and Sonyos. <laughs> <laughs> well, I see you're adequately prepared for both either yeah. way. So, um, it will be interesting to see more of you in uh, future tournaments and I do hope that you will be able to come down in the future. Yeah. And once again, congratulations on your win. Uh, we'll be presenting you with this trophy. Okay. Yep. It's a bit transparent, so yeah. Mm. All right then. Right then. So hope to see more of you in the future, okay. and that will be all. <laughs>